<laughs> How did you guys do here at the uh, UWW Cadets? How did it go for the Inland Northwest Training Center? Yeah, so we got a uh, we got a world team in the Greco um, heavy, and he's also right now in the finals for freestyle. He's down a match right now, but coming up here shortly. And then uh, you know the rest of our guys, we had some good performances. We came up a little bit short in a couple weights, but we're fighting, and um, you know I think getting better. Drew Roberts, thing. how did Drew Roberts do? You know he wrestled hard. He had a good tournament. He uh, he got knocked this morning out. He is is uh, blood, the blood round? Did he make blood round? I think it was today. I don't shoot. Yeah, I, don't know. I think that's blood uh, round. It's been a long couple of days. Uh, he lost to two Fargo champs, you know. I mean, that that was worth two losses. Yeah, yeah. So it was a competitive weight. Uh, you know, some hammers in there. I mean, good, good wrestlers. Biggest thing you want your kid to take away from, you know, taking tough losses. And they were close matches. He didn't get 10 0 did he? Uh, he did in the last one. Last he got one, but, but, gutted. but he, he lost 10 10 8 in one of them, right? Yeah, to uh, Edmund. Uh, Josh Edmond, I think, the, from uh, Detroit. It was a good match, 10-8 match, I think. Um, so, yeah, you know, just keep getting better at little things that we got to get better at. And I think, you know, a big thing for us is getting competition that exposes those areas where you got to get better. You know, finish just got to get better. Get into a leg, but finish just got to get better. Uh, main thing I want my guys to do is hustle and fight. And when they're doing that, it's going to be okay. And they're doing that right now. You know, they got to hustle, have grit, and be fighters. Okay, speaking of getting better, you got a camp coming up. The man is going to be on fire here. Oh, he's, he's, C- coming he's up. warming up. Eastern Washington. Red. Tur- can we get on the red turf for a workout? We can get on the red turf. I was out there running sprints, running shuttles the other week. I was on the red turf. Um, and, you know, I can get you out there. I can get you out there. You got to bring the heat and be a man on fire if you're going to get on the turf. Okay, what but are the yeah. dates? What are the dates for the camp? We're going June 30th through July 3rd. So, this wrestling camp thing I've been doing for about the a year and a half, we're having our first team camp now. So, we've been doing a lot of camps, a lot of day camps, two-day clinics, you know, mini camps, 3 days commuters. We are going full on college campus, dormitory, uh, you know, four days, live action duels, uh, a lot of dual meets, technique in the morning, uh, Dustin Schlater, Anthony Ashnault. Schnalty uh, mobbing? He, he's going to be mobbing out in Cheney, Washington. Che- Cheney, Washington, okay. Cheney. Home, e- Eastern Washington University? Yeah, 10 miles, from, 10 miles east of Spokane Airport. So we're going to be there. It's an easy flight for me. I'm going to pop in and get technique with both those yeah. guys. Who else is coming with me? Who am I bringing with me? Mike, who's going to defend what they built there? I can't. Well, you know, you have to defend what you've built. Defense Soap is going to be in the house. They're going to be in Cheney. We're going to be washing those mats. We're going to be washing the skin. We're going to defend what you built. We're going to be offensive when we got to. But sometimes you also have to defend. Okay. Last thing. Schnalty Mob and going to be out there showing some top technique. That's how he won an NCAA title. Yeah. Okay. Schlater, he's a yeah. mutant too, world team member. What's the big thing kids can expect out of those two guys? Well, I think, you know, I'm going to let them show what they want. But, you know, I think what they're going to show is some stuff similar to the, what, we, what we're doing with our kids. I think they're going to talk about a lot of the, the same things. I'm sure they got a few tricks up their sleeve, but I think they're going to talk, you know, about some common thing, things about, you know, working and, and, and things that we talk about position-wise, you know. Uh, hitting your holds, finishing your holds, transition wrestling. And, you know, the big thing for our kids in the West, I want them to see who these guys are. I want them to get in front of those guys. They don't get to see a lot of college wrestling. You know, they don't get to see wrestling at that level a lot. We just don't have a lot of it out there. So that's a big thing for me is exposing those uh, kids to who these guys are, what's made them who they are, um, you know, get around them and at the same time realize that, you know, they can, they can be those guys. All right, Coach, we got some more finalists coming up. i got to interview you. got anything else for me? Man. You know what? Defend. <laughs> Defend. <laughs> Do things right, and you never have to apologize. That's one of my new favorite things from one of my mentors. I like that. You know? Do it right. June 30th. I'll be out there. Thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys moving forward, all right? All right, man. Thanks.